John Gill, Revelation chapter 6, verse 15. Scripture quote, And the kings of the earth and the great men, unquote. John Gill quote, The Roman emperors and other principal magistrates, governors of provinces and cities, unquote. Scripture quote, And the rich men, unquote. John Gill quote, Among the commonality, these three may design perhaps more particularly the emperors, nobles, and senate of Rome, and, unquote, scripture quote, the chief captains, unquote, John Gill quote, or captains of thousands that had the command of the Roman legions, unquote, scripture quote, and the mighty men, unquote, John Gill quote, the soldiers that were under them, men of strength, courage, and valor, unquote, Scripture quote, and every bondman and every free man, unquote, which takes in all the inhabitants of the Roman emperor, empire and of every state and condition, and which was an unusual distinction among the Romans, these, scripture quote, hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains, unquote, where through their cruel persecutions they had forced multitudes of Christians to flee, and therefore the law of retaliation was righteously inflicted upon them. And not to take notice of any other, this was remarkably true of the kings or emperors, Diocletian and Hercules Maximus, who were emperors together in the height of their imperial glory and grandeur, the one being at Nicomedia and the other at Milan, did on one and the same day of their own accord abdicate the empire and divest themselves of their imperial crown and government, and retired to a private life, pretending in public that old age and the weight of business were the cause. But to their friends they owed, and it was through despair, because they could not extinguish the Christian religion. Some ascribe this to frenzy and madness, but the true reason was that the wrath of the Lamb was let into their consciences, and which they could not bear, and which obliged them to take this step to the amazement of the whole world. Maximinus, that's M-A-X-I-M-I-N-U-S, who succeeded them, being overcome by L-I-C-I-N-I-U-S, laid aside his imperial habit and hid himself among the common people and sulked about in fields and villages. Maxentius, that's M-A-X-T-E-M-A-X-E-N-T-I-U-S. Another emperor fled from Constantine, the instrument of the wrath of the Lamb, and pouring it out upon his enemies and fell into the river uh, Tiber, T-I-B-E-R, from the M-Y-L-V-I-A-N bridge where he perished, and which was the high, very place in which he had laid snares for Constantine. End of John Gill, Revelation chapter 6, verse 15.